What's up guys, Barry Game here back with some more Infinite Magic Raid and today we're actually going to be doing something that is going to be progressing us in our red mark even though we're not building a red mark hero. Uh, now we finished our campaign quest, we have our E1 Catherine now, but what I really want to accomplish is getting at least the E2 for the time being and then we'll work towards the other copies eventually. I've kind of taken my time to go through and I've been starting to three star as many things as possible that is taking a decent amount of keys and there's still a lot of one star ones to be cleared out there's even some two stars that I need to finish uh, clearing out as well so we are going to be building a blue mark tower hero because well we uh, we only have healers really and some of our past attempts have kind of gone to waste as well I would highly suggest not doing these battles until you know you can three star them that way you're not wasting keys in the future uh, but we can clear probably quite a few of these floors right now and that's because we are going to build a damage dealer in the blue mark because if we take a look at our mark setup here Where's our blue mark? We have Maya and we don't even have like a maxed out Guhana. I want to build either. So there's options here. We can build Margaret Margarita. We can build Yoko, which I think might be the better option because I think having a single target damage dealer is going to be the better option for certain bosses. Uh, and Jennifer would be the other one. But again, AOE damage dealer. I think what I'm going to do is actually build a Yoko. Um, is Sorrow could be another option. Or might be a better option. Eric has AoE in him. We have support heroes here. More support heroes. I think that's just what I'm going to do. She's only going to be basically E0. A5 E0. But she's single target. And single target is kind of key when you want to try to push for content. So we can always regress her later. We got the food. We're going to A5 her. And see what she can do for us because I pulled her literally on this count as I think my first legend hero I honestly think she was our first that we ever pulled uh, So maybe it's time to actually get some use out of her. What do you guys think? <laughs> all right, so let's uh, let's feed all of you off. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we don't need you anymore We still have actually you know what hold on we can do all of them Man, we, we could probably build another A5 hero as well. The problem is going to be not having the skill scrolls, honestly. Uh, yeah, we don't care about any of that right now. Where are you at, my girl? Now, do we have the potions? We do. We have enough potions, which is awesome. Uh, aura, I guess we can just activate. I don't want to give her like a really good aura, though. Neither of those really help her anyway, so we'll probably just sit on the side with that. Who? not many scrolls. Honestly, I feel like maybe we should just not put any on her whatsoever. And even gear wise, like, man, I think I honestly, we could just try using this leech set. But what I kind of want to do for the time being is just steal some stuff from somebody else. Sounds like a plan. What should we steal? Well, we should probably steal our best gear set, right? We should just take it off of the Lucifer right now. Uh, and then come back over to the Yoko. Give her this full set of amazingly god tier gear so that she can grind out our levels. I mean, there's no point not using the best gear right here because, well, yeah, um, <laughs> it is kind of paying off. Which one did Lucifer have, actually? Oh, shoot. I actually don't remember which one he had. I think it was this one. Hmm. I'm going to have to do some more research on that. Uh, we do need something attack oriented. So let's see what we can do here. We can't really raise a ton of gear sets up. Already has attack rate. No, it is a lower tier. 5%. Let's equip that and then let's do a comparison. Like, if we upgrade this one to give us more attack, we got really bad stats on that. I'm not even going to bother, I don't think. I think that's good enough. And then lastly, what do we have here? Attack, you know, that should be good enough for the time being, so we're not wasting any resources. I don't think we need, like, anything better. 
Uh, so she's set there. Now, the one thing I am going to do right now is because we have the double emblem event, I'm going to go through and farm up all of her emblems. There's no exclusive, right? Nope. Uh, so yeah, we'll be back. Give me a minute. Okay, so I farmed up all those emblems, took the time to get it done. Uh, we are going to go in. I was contemplating actually using the skill upgrades. I don't think we're going to need to, honestly. Again, we're using our Lucifer equipment pretty much, and we're not going to have an aura on her. But we have the emblems and everything, so we're sitting at a cool 67-ish percent crit chance. That's fine, mainly because we're going to be in this stance here with the ultimate cleave, dealing huge amount of damage with 40% crit rate and 60% crit damage. So let's see how far we can make it, because like I said, I really, really, really... Just want to unlock more Catherines, and in order to do that, we're going to need more of these heroes. So we're not going to stick any other heroes in because we don't want any of our heroes to be killed. That is one of the stars that we are farming here. Um, You know, we could do auto, but I don't know. I'm kind of intrigued. Okay, so she does switch stance, which is cool. She's only a single target damage dealer, but I have a feeling... She's a lot like Maeve where like, you know, single target damage is kind of king here. I wouldn't be surprised if we can just get through, honestly, 20 to 30 stars worth right here. And of course, because we're beating new levels, we're literally just going to get free keys over and over for this push right here, which is going to be one of the best ways for us to generate stuff. Um, moving forward, we might need to, you know, have some additional... We might need to have some additional heroes built in these other factions just to generate the stars as well. Uh, but mainly like bosses like this is why I wanted to build single target damage dealers. This one and what is it? Thar is the other one? I can't really remember. You guys can see Meek in the background. She's my husky. She's rarely in the videos, but she's chilling right there. Be right back. All right, let's keep going here. So 16 is done. Honestly, I'm thinking we could probably get to the low to mid 20s just off this team. I mean, she has really good gear. She doesn't have her skills, which means her cooldowns are kind of bad. Uh, but like I said, honestly, I, these should be pretty easy. Granted, we don't have blue mark tech built up much. This will actually help some of our supporters. But again, I mean, really, besides like getting more speed for Guhana for PvP, it's not really that big of a deal. If anything, we should probably be farming up Green Mark, because Green Mark is where our space is, and yeah, that would help out an absolute ton. But as you guys can see with both of these support heroes, I don't think there's a chance we die anytime soon. I'm hoping we can get up to 22 23 without an issue again if we had more damage dealers it would be so much nicer i was actually tempted to build like one more damage dealer like build like margarita or something like that just to give us a little bit more to go off of here but it is what it is her basic attack is just like she's throwing a single knife she doesn't even attack just knife throw knife throw knife throw and then finally she'll get her active but again yeah, it's kind of rough because we don't have the cooldowns on the skills. And some of the cooldowns are literally like two turns of cooldowns. So it's just going to slow down the combat. But we haven't had a single issue so far. So let's see how far we can get. And I'll be back. So, yeah, we got the copy here, which is awesome. This is going to be our E2 copy of Catherine. Going to be a ways to get 40 more points because, well, as you guys can see, we started to drop off on being able to kill the boss in enough time. So we'll just call it for here. Uh, we want to save this one key up anyway because I want to see if we can get 28 done today as well. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.